Okay, so now that you've written your first program, you're probably wondering how do you actually run it. So in order to run a program, you have to first of all obtain what is called an interpreter or a compiler for the given programming language that you are using. Now part of the reason that I chose C to begin with, although we will be going into other languages later on, is that there are many great free C compilers available as well as a lot of resources for C programmers where you won't have to spend anything. So this lesson is going to show you how to actually run your program. The first thing you need to do is get a C compiler. Alright, so the compiler that I recommend is CodeBlocks, and you can get CodeBlocks for free by going to www.codeblocks.org and then go to the downloads link and click on download the binary release. Then simply choose the appropriate operating system and Keep in mind that you will want the version of code blocks that includes Ming W. So you don't want code blocks 1005 setup, you want code blocks 1005 Ming W setup. Of course, when you watch this video, it could be much later than when I made this video and the version numbers could change, but you want the version that has Ming W included. Now, if you don't want to install a compiler, you don't have to. You can go to the website codepad.org and you can actually write a program right into that website. So, for example, notice that I have the language C selected and now I can actually just write out the program. I can write it out exactly like we just did. Oops. And there you go. Once I'm done and I'm satisfied with what I've written, I can just push submit and you'll see what happens. First of all, notice that CodePad shows me in nice colors what my program looks like. This is called syntax highlighting. It's very useful because a lot of times when you're programming, it's easy to forget a character or mistype something and syntax highlighting makes it very easy to see when you've done that. Now look down here at the bottom, output hello. Now if I were to change this, like let's say for example, I'm going to change hello to say hello YouTube, and I push submit, you will see that the output changes. So CodePad is a great way to write quick programs without downloading a compiler and if you want to run the same program on your computer all you have to do is download the compiler I showed you at CodeBlocks and there are many other compilers too but I think you should start with that one and then just put exactly what you see here inside of CodeBlocks and you can run it and that's that's all there is to it so at this point you should be able to write a simple program that can print some text to the screen you should be able to understand the entire process and you should be able to run the program in order to see the result 